shadow that's been usurped. But the reality is you have the apparatus to do this, you just forgot that you had it. So earth consciousness is anything that comes out of uh, invisible into visible. We call it manifestation. And then anything that manifests flows through a sequence, a pattern of what Goethe called a becoming into its manifestation. The pattern of becoming is sequences that are uh, preconditions for the manifestation. molecular relationships or, you know, bio, it's just a part of lecture about the uh, diversity of the, the community. How the community passes off enzymes is an alchemist would call water. Those interrelationships processes that this one uses this, the waste product of that one as the fuel, and then gives off a waste product that the next one uses, and the, 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 the bottom feeders and the top feeders and the, all of that. Those processes are, an alchemist would say, are water as a consciousness. And my task is to do, if I wish to access the the manifestation, I have to understand that the manifestation has come through a process. Today we call it ecology or whatever. But I, I duplicate as best as I can the process as I think I understand it as a pictorial sequence. And then I think the sequence backwards. And when I think the sequence of how something has manifest backwards, what comes into that process energetically is my will to understand free of my expectations of what it is I'm going to understand. purify my thought patterns from the bias of a hypothesis. It's a big one. So even Newton said hypothesis is death. So I have to I have to purge my Akasha of a result of the experiment or an expectation that when I do this, I'm going to do that. This is, will not get you through graduate school. Of course, you have to know all the prior art. You have to go through all the prior art to make your hypothesis, to make your thesis, and you, then you get the stamp of approval whatever, because now you're in the club of this is the way we think this goes. Try to say, but I think it goes that way. And it's like, I don't think you understand about how the power flows in the organization here. <laughs> this is like peer review squared. I have to free myself up from that expectation that when I do this, this is what's going to happen. And the reason why I have to do that is because the reality of what I'm trying to understand is so much larger than my understanding. It's so much larger than my hypothesis. It's so much more embedded in interrelationships that I am limiting with my expectation the potential for me to understand something that's out of the box of the stuff we already understand. So I, of 
observe what has been manifest, and then I try to replicate as best I can the parts that I understand into what we call A, B, C. I'm try to do A, B, C, D, e, F, G, H, I, J, K, because then you're going to expect that when you hit the food pellet, when the light goes on, that there's, when you hit the bar, when the light goes on, a food pellet will come down. <laughs> you you want get, to get rid of that. And the alchemist understood that. It was a kind of poison. So they wanted to get their consciousness free of the experiment. And I know it sounds strange, but it, that was what they were trying to do. So they could shift the paradigm. So I, I take what I think is the flow, ABC, and I just take that as a chunk, and then I think it as a picture, as a little YouTube video backwards. I think the sequence backwards. And when I do, I'm moving from the gravity side here, earth and water are the gravity side, into the Ledeke side. Because my consciousness is, it has been freed of the expectation of the manifestation. I have to purge myself from that consciousness in order to go into what the alchemists would call air. And the consciousness of air, chemically, that's nitrogen. Carbon, earth, oxygen, water, life, air, nitrogen. Nitrogen in the old language uh, was called azoth. The alchemists call it azoth, A-Z-O-T-H. And it means the field connections of consciousness, the potential of the consciousness to connect up. As they understood, there was something in the air that allowed people to communicate each other. We, today we call it nitrogen. But to them it was this magical thing. And when they found out they could kind of pull nitrogen out of the air and put it on plants and make plants go bananas, it was like, wow, this is really cool. And we got that PK. Nitrogen is sensitivity. <coughs> Air is sensitivity. What are you sensitive to? The vast potential of what you just have thought backwards. You want to make yourself sensitive to much more relationship than you ever thought could happen. Air. Let it be. So the flipping of the gravity side of earth and water into the levity side, the, the doorway <clears throat> is going from an awaking state into a sleeping state. That's when that naturally happens. I, I move from an awake consciousness into, <coughs> into a consciousness that's unconscious. But within, within unconsciousness is the potential for superconsciousness. And superconsciousness is the realm of the archetypes that stand behind nature. In the old days they called it the gods. And the human has the potential to penetrate their own unconscious to the degree that they become superconscious. That's the alchemical path. And when you're superconscious, and it's you know lightning bolts coming out of your head, it just means you understand you don't know. But you know that when you need to know, you will know. It's in the old tradition was called magic. So it's the understanding that my consciousness needs to be offered 
to a higher consciousness. And when I offer my consciousness to a higher consciousness, the law is that a higher consciousness benumbs a lower consciousness. That's called sleeping. That's called dreaming. When I offer my level of consciousness to a being that has a higher consciousness, their download puts me to sleep. But if I practice these kinds of meditations, I'm awake when I'm sleeping. I'm awake in the dream. And today we have language for that we call it REM sleeping. So in, in REM sleeping, neurologically, you have every function except truth telling. You are technically awake in a REM dream except for truth telling. And the reason why truth telling is shut off is so that you can fantasize to heal yourself. And during REM sleep you create new neurons that then migrate to the areas where you're having issues. days they called that process the womb of the Immaculate Conception, third ventricle, sub subventricular area of the hippocampus. That's exactly the area that the alchemists were working with. So that they could get access to the dreams that were creating the natural world. And they had to harmonize their dreaming with the dreaming. Now we are sort of contemporary Bushmen. But we have to do it with knowledge of the death. Because we have to heal them. It's no longer just, we're not just children in nature. We are now stewards of nature. It's different. So when I go into levity, when I cross the boundary, when I go my my consciousness is rarefied. Substances, when they go through a purification process, go to the level of rarefication. Just burn a candle and the wax goes somewhere. And as that process of verification happens, the consciousness of error where we think we're not available, we need to, we need to make ourselves available to that error consciousness so an imprint can be made. Because in the imprinting, there is a combustion of the patterning of thought that I had before I did the exercise in order that there can be an ash made of my beliefs. And when I can make an ash of my beliefs, hidden in the ash is the salt of a new understanding. This is the great alchemical salt, the great healing agent. I can't do it by myself, but I can't do it without my own activity. This is the great paradox. So I need to present the bowl so that they can fill it. And the bowl I present them is my understanding of the bowl they made. And when I present to them my understanding of the bowl they made, they recognize that I'm trying to understand the bowl they made, but I don't quite get it right. So they give it back to me, corrected. This is then research. <laughs>